A group of young filmmakers in Sussex say that they're shocked and angry that they've received criminal records after staging the kidnapping of an actor dressed as Father Christmas. It happened in Eastbourne Town Centre in the run-up to Christmas. Now, they say that it was intended as a harmless prank, which they videoed and then uploaded on their YouTube channel. But, as Ellie Crizel reports, horrified onlookers thought they were witnessing a genuine crime and called 999. <laughs> An actor playing Father Christmas, but what shoppers didn't realise was that he was also acting when this happened. <laughs> Passers-by in Eastbourne were so shocked, many phoned 999 and five police cars went to the scene. Film company True Mobster, who post videos on YouTube, were behind the stunt. Those involved were subsequently charged with using threatening or abusive behaviour, likely to cause harassment, alarm or distress. They protest it was just a joke. I was just really shocked and stuff. Like, I don't think it should have went that far. Like, I understand that some people took it the wrong way and, like, maybe have been a bit distressed and stuff because there were children there, but we were unaware and I wasn't intending to scare anyone. I just wanted to go out there and make a fun YouTube video. It's not the first time a stunt has caused alarm to those not in the know. Earlier this year, a London bus was exploded on Lambeth Bridge for a Jackie Chan movie. The film company had permission, but passers-by were shocked, and those involved in the 7th of July London bombings felt it insensitive. And in 2014, a Halloween-themed survival event was attended by Sussex police after participants were seen being bundled into a van by masked men. No one was prosecuted in either case, so why did Sussex police decide to press ahead with the prosecution of the Eastbourne pranksters? They told us the incident which was staged caused alarm and distress to spectators. A number of families witnessed the stunt and some children are still unsettled by what they saw. The impact of their actions was not considered by any of those involved. This could have been avoided by reasonable planning. They've learned their lesson for the rest of their life. Does it need our money as taxpayers to criminalise these people while at the same time damaging their careers as filmmakers for the rest of their lives? Of course not. What a load of rubbish. Six members of True Mobster were fined and given a 12-month conditional discharge. This video has been viewed on YouTube more than 36,000 times. Ellie Crissell, BBC South East Today.